They told me I was mad, that if I did not rush for amprolium, sulfonamide drugs, or the nearest veterinary prescription, I would lose the entire flock. The coccidiosis signs were textbook. Bloody droppings, drooping wings, chicks huddled and fluffing up like old sweaters in cold July. But what happened next shocked even the veterinarian I called to inspect the flock. I did not use drugs. I used garlic and turmeric, a simple stack every farmer has in their kitchen. Three days later, the droppings changed. The blood stopped. The appetite returned. Mortality? Zero. Before you dismiss this as a fluke or miracle, let me walk you through what happened, why it worked, and how you can replicate this on your farm. Because if you are a smallholder or semi-commercial poultry farmer in Kenya, Nigeria, India, the Philippines, or anywhere tropical, you know, coccidiosis is not just a disease. It is a profit killer. It is the thief in the night stealing your flock without warning. It ruins broiler weights. It crashes your layer egg counts. It leaves you frustrated, broke, and questioning if this poultry thing is even worth it. But what if I told you there is a farmer-tested, veterinarian-approved, scientifically supported way to stop early-stage coccidiosis or even prevent it without reaching for antibiotics or synthetic anticoccidials? What if you could use two natural bioactive ingredients that not only knock back protozoa, but also support the gut lining, boost immunity, and improve feed conversion? Stick around, because that is exactly what we are unpacking today. I will share the full dosage, the step-by-step -step mixing guide, and even a farm case study from Moranga, where a 300 bird brooder came back from the brink using nothing but garlic, turmeric, and discipline. If you care about healthier chickens and better profits, give this video a like, share it with another farmer, subscribe so you do not miss proven tips like this, and tell me where you are watching from around the world. Let us get into it. Every Kenyan farmer who has raised broilers, local indigenous chickens, or layers has faced this silent killer. Coccidiosis. It creeps in when you think things are finally going well. You have sorted your brooding, your feed is on point, and then, suddenly, you spot watery or bloody droppings and birds become dull, ruffled, or huddled. Your best growers just stall. In layers, egg production can drop by 15 to 30 percent. In broilers, your feed conversion ratio shoots up. You start feeding birds that never gain weight. That is the economic pain coccidiosis brings. It is worse during the rainy season when litter gets moist or when drinkers leak and create wet patches. And even if your house looks clean, the microscopic oocysts, those stubborn coccidia eggs, can survive for months in the environment, waiting for the perfect conditions. What most farmers do not realize is that by the time you see symptoms, the damage has already begun inside the bird's intestines. We are talking gut wall destruction, nutrient malabsorption, inflammation, secondary infections, and eventually death, if not from the protozoa, then from the damage they leave behind. In Kenya alone, studies show coccidiosis affects up to 70% of unvaccinated or poorly managed flocks in certain counties during the wet season. Globally, it costs the poultry industry over 3 billion United States dollars annually. That is how big this silent enemy is. Most farmers rush for coccidiostats or sulfonamide drugs like sulfadimidine or amprolium. But over-reliance has led to resistance, and many of these drugs do not heal the gut. They just suppress the protozoa. Worse, some come with withdrawal periods that delay slaughter or egg marketing. What if there was a natural way to reduce protozoa load while healing the gut lining at the same time? Here is where our solution begins. Coccidiosis is caused by Imeria species. Protozoa that invade the gut lining multiply rapidly, rupture cells, and release more oocysts. These oocysts are shed in droppings and picked up by other birds, especially in wet litter or overcrowded brooders. Think of it like planting destructive seeds in your own chicken house. Once they hatch and multiply, the gut becomes a battlefield. What the bird needs at this point is not just a killer of the parasite, it needs gut protection, anti-inflammatory support, and immune boosting. That is where garlic and turmeric come in. Garlic contains allicin, a powerful organosulfur compound that is antibacterial, antiviral, and yes, antiparasitic. Studies from the International Journal of Poultry Science show that garlic extract reduces imeria oocyst output and improves weight gain compared to untreated controls. Turmeric, on the other hand, is rich in curcumin, a natural anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. It reduces intestinal lesions caused by imeria, improves villi integrity in the gut, and supports better digestion. 
Researchers from Cairo University found that broilers supplemented with turmeric had better performance and less intestinal damage during a coccidia challenge. These are not just kitchen spices. They are functional feed additives, natural alternatives that combine to reduce parasite load, repair the gut lining, and support immunity, all without resistance or drug residues. Think of garlic as the spear and turmeric as the shield. One attacks the protozoa, the other protects the gut. Here is exactly what I did, and what you can do too. Hi there, my name's Peter, and I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. Layers, broilers, even some indigenous birds. Let me be honest, before I found this book, I was struggling. Feed prices were going up, antibiotics were becoming less effective, and my flock just wasn't performing like it used to. Then I came across The Organic Chicken Farmer's Guide by Dominic Ngafo and Mugweru Isaac. I decided to buy it, and I'll tell you something. It changed everything on my farm. This guide isn't theory, it's practical. It shows you how to use local, affordable things like garlic, neem, turmeric, aloe vera, even charcoal, to keep your birds healthy and productive. I started small. I tried the moringa and garlic in the water for a week. I noticed improved appetite, less coughing, and better energy. Now, I've built my own small black soldier fly setup for protein, and I'm using fermented feeds regularly. My birds are growing faster, my eggs are bigger. I'm saving money, and I haven't used antibiotics in months. The best part? The book is easy to understand. It speaks our language, not complicated science. And it's available in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Indonesian, so anyone can use it. If you're serious about poultry farming and want to move forward the smart way, scan the QR code you see on your screen or click the link in the description and the pinned comment. This book worked for me. I believe it can work for you too. For every one liter of clean drinking water, crush three cloves of fresh garlic or use one teaspoon garlic paste. Add one teaspoon of turmeric powder, food grade, not cooking mix with salt. Mix thoroughly and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes for the active compounds to infuse. Strain if necessary to avoid blocking nipples or drinkers. Offer this water for 8 hours per day for 3 to 5 consecutive days. You must replace the solution every 24 hours to avoid bacterial growth. Use fresh ingredients and clean your drinkers well. Do not mix with other antibiotics or vitamins during the same period. Now let me give you a real case from Juja. Wanjiku, a semi-commercial farmer with 300 broiler chicks, called me in a panic. She was on day 18. Droppings had turned red. Chicks were quiet. She had lost five birds overnight. Her agrovets had no amprolium in stock. I told her, we will go natural. Start immediately. She followed the protocol strictly. By day two, blood in droppings reduced. By day three, it was gone. Mortality, zero after the first day. She even reported better feed uptake and growth afterward. I followed up at slaughter. Her average weight was 1.9 kilograms at 35 days despite that setback. The trick is early intervention, clean litter, strict dosage and consistency. Do not wait until 10 birds die. Act fast. Garlic and turmeric work best at the early to mid stage. In advanced cases, you may still need veterinary support. Now let me warn you about common mistakes. Some farmers overuse turmeric. More is not better. It can become bitter and reduce water intake. Others use stale garlic or fail to crush it, missing the allicin activation. Some mix in cold water and serve immediately, but infusion takes time. A few give the solution for one day only and expect magic. That is not how natural healing works. Respect the process. Respect the bird's physiology. I know some of you are thinking, Dominic, are you saying we do not need drugs at all? That these spices replace vaccines or veterinary prescriptions? Let me be clear, this method is for mild to moderate cases, especially early stage outbreaks. In severe cases, or if you are seeing heavy blood, lethargy, and high mortality, call a veterinarian, do not gamble. Also, garlic and turmeric are supportive. They help the body fight, heal, and recover. They do not make you immune. Litter management, spacing, proper brooding, and clean water are still non-negotiable. And yes, if you can afford it, vaccination against coccidiosis, like Livercox T or Paracox, in breeder or long-term layer flocks is still advisable. But if you are working with tight margins, raising 100 to 500 birds per batch, and struggling with rising drug costs and resistant strains, then this garlic turmeric stack is your affordable, sustainable, and repeatable ally. Some say this is just traditional mumbo jumbo, but science is finally catching up with tradition. These are botanicals with published peer-reviewed studies behind them. What our grandmothers used for healing now has a molecular explanation, and more importantly, 
Farmers are seeing results in the field. Remember, birds do not lie, weight gain, and survival are facts. Blood in droppings or its absence is not an opinion. So what are the top takeaways you should remember? First, coccidiosis is a real seasonal and costly threat, especially in wet, crowded, or poorly ventilated housing. Prevention is always better, but natural early treatment is possible. Second, garlic and turmeric, when used correctly, offer a farmer-tested solution that works at the gut level. They do not just fight the protozoa, they help the bird recover faster and stronger. Third, your timing, dosage, and hygiene will make or break this method. Respect the birds. Do not cut corners. Start today. Go to your kitchen. Buy fresh garlic and turmeric powder. Clean your drinkers. Mix it right. Act at the first signs of trouble. Save your flock, save your money, and strengthen your confidence as a farmer. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly poultry tips, and share this with a farmer who needs it. I am Dominic, your poultry veterinarian and friend, helping you raise healthier birds one simple science-backed tip at a time. See you in the next video.